Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! That's 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 what we came for. What is good, Grey Gang? In today's video, I'm gonna be eating only what I catch for the next 24 hours. But in this case, it's actually like the next 20 hours because I already ate breakfast in the challenge but I didn't really film it because it was really kind of boring and I just went out to my chicken coop got some chicken eggs and just ate those figured you guys didn't want to see that because you know it uh it's, it's not that crazy but we do have some pretty cool things planned for lunch and dinner which are going to be actually very cool now lunchtime is actually negative 11 minutes ago because so we're kind of late we still have to go out catch the food skin the food cook the food before we can even eat the food. And you know what? That's kind of a, I don't know, it's a process. It's a lot harder than KFC. But my plan for lunch is to go out and I think I'm gonna try to get me a catfish. They're pretty reliable, especially since we don't have a ton of time for lunch right now. I've just got a very simple bait caster with a big old hook on it. And then I got some bread right over there. I got a pretty good spot for catfish, so I think I should be eating today. Hopefully. Let's go to the pond. All right, boys, we may just have a target of opportunity. We was on our way to the catfish pond, but we uh, we just saw a big snapping turtle in this creek. You can see where he's kicked up the dust. He went down in the pile. He wasn't like massive or anything, but he was definitely big enough for one guy, one meal. Let's see if I can see him. We may be skipping out on him. Oh my goodness, I can't see him, but he's in there. Let's see if he came out this other side. I bet he's right in the middle. Let's see if we see him. He ain't came out the other side yet. Here's a dog, we could eat it, but I don't think we should. Mammy said they're edible. Whoa, hot dog, what has this been? We had a big old deer right here, son. That's pretty recent too. That's like this morning. But anyways, unfortunately, the turtle did get away. Hey now, listen about this. I ain't done with him. I'll come back and I'll get him because he is in my mineral hole. I'm not about to willingly have competition at my mineral hole. But anyways, I got this piece of bread and this hot dog bun. My plan for these catfish is to chum them up a little bit and then come in a little bait and switch. One of them's gonna have to get away from that. Go over Jethro. When they're least expecting it, they're gonna eat into a piece of bread that's actually got my hook in it. Now in a serious situation, this may not be a good idea because I am quite literally giving up food in the hand for big food in the water, you know? Like one bird in the hand, two birds in the bush. I'm literally throwing away food in hopes to catch more food. This could end out really badly. But I guess we can just uh, hope that it doesn't. We got bluegill nibbling, but guess what? I don't want a bluegill. I want a big caddy. I want a big daddy caddy, boys. We'll catch you guys right here in a second once these guys get chummed up. It may take them a minute. I don't know how many is actually in here. Lights, camera, auction. It's time, boys. The caddies are coming up. Stay you, back, Jethro. Can you do a swarp when you catch one? I don't know, man. This is this is my dinner, or technically my lunch. I don't know if I'm going to take risk like that. Big boy ain't wanting to skip lunch today by messing up. That's pitiful. What is up with my stinking fishing pole? Why is the line not coming out? This whole pond's about to get a donation of a fishing pole right here. Now, if I can just scoot this thing way over, skirt, skirt, there we go. All right, that's decent. Now we just need a big catfish come up bussing, bussing on it, and I'll be skirt free home. Sheesh. My bait done came off. Oh. That ain't a good sign. I ain't got much bait. No. Put a real small piece on it. Yeah, I gotta have a big piece so I can cast it and it'll float. Mm. If it's too small, it won't float. If it don't float, they won't see it. This is pitiful. What is going on with my dang fishing pole? Why can't you act normal? Your bread's gonna fly off again. Oh, it was close right there. It's sinking. Get back, Jethro! I put it in my pocket. Uh-oh. There he goes! Oh, we got him! Oh, there he goes. He actually bit it on the fall. Well, by golly, if that ain't Jebediah Jethro Wilson the fourth. Oh, oh, <laughs> Jethro, stay back, Jethro. Here, here you go, Jethro. Good. Hey, easy, buddy. Dang, son, bit me. Anyways, we got big man, he's fat. Come on now, Jethro, Jebediah Wilson the fourth. Calm down, old son. He's dancing. Yep. All right, let's take him back to the house because this is my lunch and I don't want him to flop back in the water. All right, guys, we are back at the homestead. As you can see, the catfish is pretty much dead. Yet, once again, I cannot promise that he will not move because they're catfish and they're weird. They just do stuff like that. Anyways, what we're going to be using to skin this bad boy is a KG filet knife. Now, these things don't get a lot of love on the channel just because I don't eat a lot of fish, but these things are super sharp. Also, if you like watermelon, this is the knife for you. 
Just pointing that out there. Anyways, the fish is pretty much dead. I'm gonna go ahead and get what I can. Whatever I can get off this fish is literally what I have to eat for the rest. Well, for lunch at least. I think we're gonna be able to take care of dinner pretty easy. There you go, Sheba. And stay gone, son. KennelGrade1.com slash shop, first link in the description. Pick yours up today, the blue Kyogre's pocket knife. Matches the shirts, too. Oh, yeah, that's kind of true. Also, pick this thing up. Get you a combo deal. Get the knife and the shirt. Hey, here's the thing. Buy the blue Tiger's pocket knife with the blue Tiger's t-shirt. I'm going to give you 10% off both of them if you buy them together. No promo codes needed. Just buy this. Buy this. Make sure it's the blue Tiger's, though, and you'll get 10% off both of them. For three days. Not forever. Let's go on in the kitchen. Okay, guys, we're in the kitchen right now. Due to time constraints and hunger constraints, I'm not getting a tripod. You're sitting on this towel. Sound good? Okay, bet. Anyways, I got these fish here. We cooked fish the other day. It's kind of hard to fit the whole thing in the pan, so I'm just gonna cut them both in half. That way I kind of have four solid little pieces. There's those that I'll come in and cut this in two. This knife's kind of dull. Wonder why? Probably because it's not available on kindergarten.com slash shop, you know what I mean? But anyways, there's that. Next, I'm gonna scoot this thing over to here. I will bring in the milk and the, I don't know what this is, but it's, it's something. First, I dip the what you call it, also known as catfish, in the milk, let it drain off, then roll it in flour. Pretty simple so far. This is breading the catfish. This way it kinda has like a breading, if you can believe that. After that, I'll dangle it off and literally just do it to every other piece I have. Now, that is a, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty simple. It's gonna be pretty good though. I mean, cooking catfish isn't exactly the most hard thing to do in the entire world. It's actually pretty simple and it's not that hard to do. This is cornmeal, in case you wanna know. Just plain old cornmeal and then I put some Ace's, some of Ace's seasoning on it. And that right there will do you good for catfish. There we go. They are all for bread and everything. I'm gonna wash my fingers off because I don't really know what they look like. I guess it looks like I dipped my hand in paint. But after I wash my hands off, I'm gonna have to move you guys because I actually need the towel that you're sitting on. I know you can't really see my head, but you know what? You're just gonna deal with it, okay? I'm getting hungry and I don't have anybody to help me right now. Ethan's outside. We'll turn on the fan. Y'all can actually come over here for this. Very simple to cook fish. I'm just gonna grab the said fish, put it in there and it's gonna fry just like that. We'll do the same thing to all four pieces, and honestly, this should be bustin' bust. Like, no kidding though, this is probably gonna be one of the best meals I could make. Not necessarily the healthiest because of the breading and the frying, but the catfish itself is pretty healthy. And the catfish is done now. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, ya boy. That's hot too. We're gonna have to get that thing to dry off. I mean, cool down. Just go. Say boop whenever you start recording. Say boop. Boop. All right. Moment of truth, guys. It's time for the taste test. I, 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 don't, there, I don't think there's a chance at all that it doesn't taste good. I mean, it's catfish with good seasoning on it. Don't really see a world that it doesn't taste good. So I'm pretty sure for lunch today, I'm safe. For dinner tonight, that may be a little bit of a different story, okay? But for now, let's just worry about this. Mmm, that tastes really good. I like this. I usually don't really like fish that much, but this right here, I really dig this. I'm about to sneeze, and you guys are about to watch it firsthand. Okay, I don't need to sneeze anymore. Anyways, come, on, come here a little closer. I gotta tell you guys a secret. Since this video is pretty much two to three catch and cooks all packed into one video, I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and hit the like button for me. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is good. I like it a lot. Let's see, it's about one now. We got like, what, five, six hours till it's time to eat. We need to start cooking a little bit before then, and we'll have to make sure we have the food to eat before then. So, honestly, it's about that time. But um, first, I am going to eat this, and then I'm also... Okay guys, it's now time for dinner. But this dinner, me and Ethan actually went out last night and collected Roll the clip. Okay guys, we're at an undisclosed location. Definitely not a pond, but it's not time. And we're going after frog. Wait, is that a frog? Okay, it's we're definitely, that's frogs. definitely frogs. This is the first time we've ever been to this pond, so I wasn't exactly sure if there'd be frogs. It's gonna be kind of hard to believe if there wasn't frogs, but this video is sponsored by, believe it or not, Kennel Gray Outdoors. 
Can we grab one of Comstock Shop for a slingshot? That is where you can buy the lights that we're finally getting to use. We hardly ever use lights, mainly because, well, in summertime, it doesn't get dark till 12 o'clock at night. But this is the KG flashlight. Just got it off charge, so it should be pretty bright. It's not insanely bright compared to that light and the light bar stuff, but once we get on over in there, we will be able to see the frogs. There's grass matted on top, and there's... Is that lily pads? They're not lily pads, but it's matted grass, and there's literally a frog on every single pad. And then these, which are the KG headlamps, these are really going to come in handy for us. So they're really bright so that we can work up with our hands and stuff if we need to stab a frog up close or take him off the gig. Speaking of the gig, that's also a KG product. Super simple. It's just this right here. It comes with pretty much all this. You get your own stick and your own screw, poke it on there, screw it on, and you're stinking ready to go frog gigging, my boy. I'll show you guys how to make your own frog gig here in a future episode. But as for now, me and Ethan's just gonna crack open this boat, go in there, and try to get me some dinner for tomorrow, because at this point right now, I don't exactly know what I'm gonna eat if I don't catch them, so no pressure. Let's get after it. Let's do it. All right, boys, we are almost off. Are we pushing off of the frog gig? Of course, it's got a cap on it. That way it doesn't get too dull. Here's the thing, I'm just gonna say this. Whenever I seen Flair frog gig, he does it during the day. And I have no idea why he does that. Because at night, you literally just come out here, shine your lights on the bank until you see two big old eyes. And the bigger the eyes, the bigger the frog. So that's all we're gonna do. I can see one right over there. By golly, he's a big one. He's way over there. Anyways, he's two big old eyes and he's got a big old yellow belly. That's gonna be the perfect size. This trolling motor is 70 horsepower. We sure about that? No. Anyways, without further ado, boys, it's about time. Let's take off the froggy diggy thing. Ooh, we got him. Got him. Got him. I'm not gonna say I'm eating good tomorrow, but at least I'm eating tomorrow. We he's got a, one so far. He's not the biggest one in the world, but uh, you know, frog legs are in numbers. They're not in specific ones. That's why there's not really a limit on them. Cause uh, you know, if you're gonna eat on that right there, you're gonna need a lot of them. Good thing is, usually where there's one frog, there is a lot. If we hear one that's going like that one. <laughs> See? Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Uh, what's the game plan, man? You're going to turn around and you're going to get him. All right, sounds good to me. He may not be the biggest frog in the world, but I mean, as of right now, I don't have much to eat tomorrow, and I ain't going hungry. I can promise that. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's right there. Got him. That there is a good gig, son. Like I was saying, he's not the biggest frog in the world, but it's strength in numbers. We're in my case a meal in numbers. There's two. If we can get about 30 more that size, I'll be able to eat decently, but there's bigger frogs out here. Let me tell you this, guys. You guys better hit the like button and subscribe right now, because this video is not easy to make. I could have literally made like three different videos out of this one video, but I decided to... You did, did you hear that? It's been going. There's something over here. No. Did you hear the big splash? Oh, no. Well, this is kind of scary, because there's no fish in this pond, because this is an old mine pond. So no fish can survive. So whatever made that gigantic splash was not a fish. Really? Yeah, there's no fish in here. That's why it's creepy. That means whatever that was, was either a grizzly bear throwing rocks at us, or potentially even worse, a freshwater hippo, also known as a beaver. I was thinking Sasquatch, but okay. Ah, uh, they, we got a camera, we're safe from them. Yeah, we just gotta keep it. Look at all. There's one, there's one, there's one. See him? Yep. Is he big enough or what? Yeah, get him. You think he is? Yep. Oh yeah, he's actually a pretty good one. About to anchor up. Ready? Perfect. There's Perfect. another one right there. Dude, there's another one right there. That's the same size? Yes. That one's actually probably your biggest one so far. Dude, there's another one right it's there. not necessarily saying too much. I didn't even see him on camera. Really? No. Where's but that other one? Right here. Right here. Ah, uh, we'll let him go. He ain't too big. There's more. There he is. That ain't stinking Jerry himself. There's two of them. Where are they at? One's right there and one's right here, but I think I might even let them. Oh, he ain't getting away from me. No, that one's a good one. No, no, sir. Oh, I missed him. Bad move, old friend. Should have went. To... Oh, that would have been cool if I got him. They're stinking slick, dude. They're stinking slick. Hey, there's something. Oh my gosh, there's a beaver slide. Dude, there's beavers in here. 
I'm pretty sure we already figured that out. Maybe that's what we're hearing from running water. Because right here's another one. I mean, they're the reason why the four-wheeler road was a boat ramp. Oh, my gosh. Hold up. You see him. Yeah. That ain't the great collie, but that is Ryback. No, it's not. It's stinking Kofi Kingston, but I'll stinking take it. That's Carlito. Get in my stinking bucket. You'll be my frying pan tomorrow, son. There's another one. There's another where, one. Where? Right there. Right oh, there. my gosh. That's that's a, that's a Ryback. That's a good one. I ain't even kidding. No cap, fam. That is what you call perfect execution. Go for the head, and we won't have another Infinity War. Oh, my Goodness. Oh my gosh, the big show's here. Oh, I see him. Oh my goodness, get ready. Dude, I'm not kidding. He's massive. That is the biggest frog I've ever seen in my life. He is massive. Let's just be real still. Don't yell or anything. We'll get that sap sucker. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's, that's, that's what we came for. Dude. Oh, oh he's fighting. He's fighting. That's the stinking oh, great collie. Lord. That is the stinking great collie. That is what we're stinking coming after, dude. That's bigger than our hand. Those Dang. legs, that's literally like, that's bigger than a goat. That, okay, that's not true. But that's a really big thing for a frog. That's a chicken Are leg. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Dang. What the heck is that? Hold him up by the legs. Just show us how big he really is. What the heck is even that? Dang. That's what we're after. If we wasn't exactly fighting to survive tomorrow, those are the ones we'd try to get. But now that we got one of the big ones, I think we have enough meat to, you know, eat one meal or something. I think we'll just focus on getting some more big ones. All right, boys, we safe now. Now I'm gonna try to get out of this boat. You can try. All right, guys, so we just cut the cameras to take these pictures right here. And uh, now I'm gonna let Ethan explain what just happened. I put the frog in the bucket. And it kicked the bucket open and went that way. We lost the frog. Now I'm sad. And I'm hungry. We lost the frog. That was the big one too, wasn't it? Yeah. So now we're back at the house. Once we got done last night, since it was pretty late, we just dumped them in this cooler with ice. So these things have been in here for what? Probably About 20 hours. At least. Check it out. Some of them are still alive. And like, whenever I say some of them, I mean like most of them. You know, normally with a fish, if you throw them on ice, they'll, I don't know, freeze to death and die. But these things, I don't think any of them actually died. Most of them's been submerged and they've not drowned or anything. But I don't know, guys, you can come in here and look. We don't exactly have a ton of meat in here because, you know, Ethan let that one go, but we do have a de pretty decent little frog legs there. We have five frogs, two legs each. That's 12 legs total. It's pretty solid. It's 10, my man. Lie. Now, to skin a frog, it's actually pretty simple. You need two things. It's actually super easy, but you need pliers and a knife to go ahead and get them started. I'm going to just do them pretty quick here, and we'll just go from there. First thing you'll do, pretty much grab this and make a starting cut. We just cut their skin a little bit. I've never actually seen a frog's skin. Then you come and grab their skin, just like a catfish, and pull it off just like that. It's the easiest thing in the entire world to skin. Honestly, probably don't even need my knife, so. And then once you get them that far, you just cut their legs off because that's the only part that has meat. So I'll come and cut it right there. I may even do it right like this. Yep, just like that. Boom. There's the frog legs, the rest of the frog. I'll toss it over there. Maybe a squirrel can eat it. I'm going to do the rest of these like that. It's a very, very simple process. Doesn't take much time at all. But frog legs actually taste pretty good. But you may be thinking, you know, dude, that doesn't look like a lot of meat. And that's because it's absolutely not. But me and Ethan also went out and got some more meat last night. But we'll show you that whenever we get down to eating it. We'll catch you guys in the kitchen. What's up guys? Welcome back to Cooking with KG. Today we're cooking the frog legs. Noise. Oh, where are they at? Here they are. Here's the frog legs. Frog legs. They're good. Really good. I think. Um, yeah. Um, what are we doing? Cooking frog legs. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we're cooking the frog legs. Now, here they are after they're all skinned out and all that shindig. Looking real nice, looking real nice, but you may notice there's not exactly a ton of meat. That's why we got a side while we was out there. While we was out in the field, snatching those things, we also picked some wild berries. 
Roll the clip. Since I'm eating only what I can catch and gather for 24 hours, I wanted to get a little sweets, okay? I, I like potatoes are cool, but like, mm, not that cool, you know? We have came to Kentucky's natural blackberry. Now, I know what you're saying. Tell them, dude, where are you? Heck if I know, dude. I don't know where I am. I'm just in some holler, dude. But what we do have is check this out. Natural blackberries. If you don't know what a blackberry is, uh, you got bigger problems, buddy. You can see all the red ones. Those are not ripe, but the black ones, they're ready to go. So that one right there, you pull it off. That thing's ready to go. I'll eat one now because I got plenty. Tasty. Kind of sweet. Kind of sour because that one's maybe not perfect. But yeah, I got my bag here. Me and Ethan just going to pick a bunch. That way, you know, we can eat them tomorrow whenever I'm having to survive off of these things. Like this whole side right here is just full of blackberries. Yeah, there's more my... blackberries than any bear could ever eat in its entire life. So to pick them, they're pretty simple. You just come in here and pick them off and stick them in a bag. That's pretty much it. It's not very complicated, I promise. Self-explanatory. This will be really key tomorrow whenever I'm having to eat fish and meat and potatoes and corn. These are like the only natural fruit I think we can get out here. Maybe an apple, but I don't know where any apple trees are. We need are. to find a cinnamon tree. Something like that. Mm, get off me, old son. Man, this thing's about to fight. Check that out. That's a good bush right there. If I can get to it, I'll have all kinds. The thing is like these blackberries, you're not the only one trying to get them. You're not alone. No. No kidding, if we spent like 10 minutes, we could fill this bag up easy. Yeah, I mean, real easy. Cause like, they're everywhere. As long as we didn't care to get snake bit a couple times, but you know what it is, what it is. There's a bunch of bugs on that. They'll be all right, though. You don't taste them. Protein. You don't taste them if you chew fast enough. Yeah. I've already raided these bushes a couple days ago. Did you? Yes. There's a couple good ones I can get to. I'm trying not to get snake bit, but if I do, it is what it is, okay? If I get snake bit, give these to Mammy, okay? All right. Bet. I don't know what kind of fly this is, but he is not leaving us alone. He's about to get it. I can tell you that right now. He done hit the defender about twice. He hit me once and I hit him back. <laughs> snake bites me, I'll bite it back, son. Remember, snakes don't sting, they bite. This thing wants the heat, don't it? Like you can hear him flying around. We ain't the only one out here wanting these blackberries. Whatever that is, wants them too. We already got about a two liters. You hear that? Do you hear that? Yeah, right up here. Be real quiet. Listen. There's some over there grunting. I don't know if it's frogs or a bear or just some raccoon that's spazzing out and fell off a tree. Dude, if that's a raccoon and it's got a leg cramp, we best be backing up, dude. Maybe that's why this fly's hanging around us. We need a Snickers. They're not them when they're hungry. No. If it is a bear, we brought no protection from bears. Mm -mm. We got these. We can work Garden. out a... It's like, a, like the Indians and the... Pioneers barter. Well, like, we'll give you blackberries if you don't kill us. And they, he has to give us something, too. Honey? I'd accept that. All right. Um, I guess that's it. All right. And here they are right now. You saw us kind of eating them out there, which is fine. But, like, unless you want to eat bugs, which is also totally fine, you can soak them in here for, I don't know, a little while. And all the bugs should die and come floating to the top. But, nice blackberries. Do recommend soaking them in cold water. Why's that? They like get really soft in hot water and then they like to smush up. Yeah, cook them. So do cold water and they taste pretty good. Pretty simple, pretty good though. And as you can see, I got plenty enough food. That could be a meal in and of itself, but I'm just gonna keep them as a little snack. But now, I don't have these in seasoning or anything. Or I don't have breading on them or anything. I am gonna put some of Ace's seasoning on it because it's really good. Ace makes some really good seasoning. There it is. Anyway, there it is. Uh -huh. We got the same frying pan and same oil as we did with the catfish, but guess what? That's just that's just okay. That's actually not a bad thing. One thing you may have heard about frog legs is that they kick around in the pan, and uh, that's true. You're about to probably see that. See? It's kicking. They'll try to jump out. See them? Look, its toes, its muscles are twitching. That's just, I don't know, because they're weird. Oh, yeah, that one's going. There we go. These are pretty much like fish, so you'll know they're done whenever they're about the same doneness as fish. Easy now. We don't need none of that popping now. Mmm, look at them folding up. Oh, it ain't take long. They're about done, honestly. Since you're the chef, can yep. I ask you a question? Yeah. Do frog legs shrink while they're being cooked? I think everything shrinks when it's being cooked. Like a large amount. We're about to find out. They, they don't look like frog legs. If we had the one that Ethan let go, we'd been in good shape. I'd had a good dinner. But now I'm gonna have to eat blackberries to survive. Welcome to my cinnamon arm. 
I'm glad to have you guys here today with me so that I can speak about business and finances with you guys. I'm here today not only for your benefit, but also the world's benefit. I'm here to unlock financial freedom for you and your family for generations to come. Thank you for coming to my seminar. We will proceed to session one. Want to go to Wendy's? Don't. Go kill a frog and eat it instead. Use your saved income, invest in your rental properties. Boom, that's passive income. No. I don't know what went wrong, but something went very wrong. Let's try it's thigh. It's thigh's pretty good. I can't tell what is and ain't a bone. Try it's calf muscle. That's what I just tried. Oh. I will say this. Frog legs, this is not my best recipe, okay? Stay tuned and subscribe to this channel if you want to see my best recipe on frogs, because I can do pretty good. Just today, I wasn't exactly wanting to do an all-star recipe because I want y'all to come back later if you want to see that. Plus, I already gave away my recipe for all-star catfish. So, but yeah, hit the like button on this video and tell me what your favorite part about the entire challenge was. If you want to watch some more frog gigging videos, you can click this playlist right up here. There's a bunch of them. Or if you just want to see a catfish catch cook, click right up here and watch all that playlist. As for now, I'm going to sit back, enjoy my financial freedom, and eat this frog, which costed me probably about $6.00. And gas, yeah. Yeah, it was actually quite expensive. Okay, maybe my seminar is not that good. I will see you guys later, though. Bye.